Exposing the strangest scandal in speedrunning. This video is made by Trey Bordo. It released, I think, yesterday, two days ago. It has to do with brew sticks, the steel sticks that Binny made. Binny, story of Binny, it's going to be said in the video probably, but quick rundown. Binny is a runner in Mario 64 that's been around for as long as Siglamic, pretty much. Been around forever. Back when Siglamic was popular, Binny was like the second biggest runner. He was huge. He was like, he had like a 49 in emulator and 70 star at the time was amazing. He was a top player. Um, and he hasn't been around for a while. He decided he's going to make steel sticks and now he's just kind of disappeared. People aren't getting their refunds. People aren't getting their, their sticks. It's a, it's a whole mess. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to ask as a man and watch the video. On June 13th of this year, Binny posted an update in his Discord server promising he was mentally and physically able to fulfill his outstanding orders. However, as of today, he has yet to send them out or provide any sort of communication to any of his buyers. And honestly, I'm not sure he ever will. With a history of not meeting deadlines and false promises, I think it's finally time to talk about Brewsticks 64. I've previously made a video about Nintendo 64 sticks, but to quickly explain why this topic is significant, let's go back to 2016. In February of that year, Linus Hoffman posted on Nintendo 64 Forever about his plans for a steel stick and bull module. This is important because the N64 stick is quite fragile and very weak due to its plastic components that wear down from rubbing on each other constantly. In contrast, a steel stick and bull module makes it much more durable and reduces the friction significantly. As expected, the response was overwhelmingly positive because everyone wanted a module that would never need replacement and would save speedrunners, smash players, and anyone who heavily uses the N64 controller a lot of money. Saving money is a major factor, especially considering the limited supply of good condition N64 controllers and components. Finding adequate modules for speedrunning will become increasingly difficult. By 2019, Linus had sold his last stick, and his project, Steel Sticks 64, was left with only caps, bowls, and buttons, with very infrequent restocks. With Steel Sticks 64 no longer available, we needed a new source for sticks. Fortunately, a promising alternative had emerged a year earlier. Between 2018 and 2019, Prestige 64 gained significant traction. However, after showcasing his first completed module, he only shipped out 26 more modules before announcing on Halloween of 2020 that he would no longer fulfill any remaining orders and that all customers would receive a refund. By 2021, we were in desperate need of a new solution, and luckily, a more promising project was on the horizon. Known for speedrunning Super Mario 64, Benny had built a solid reputation and cultivated a pretty large following as one of the top Super Mario 64 streamers on Twitch. His approach was unique. Rather than using new strats, he developed his own, which occasionally worked against him. Despite this, Benny's consistency was honestly impressive, and that was what mattered most to him. I just put an entire pepper in my mouth without realizing. <sighs> and now I'm getting fucked. <clears throat> him. Unfortunately for everyone though, his latest business venture was about to change things dramatically. On February 9th, 2021, Benny tweeted, Brewstick's orders have begun. It's time. The initial tweet was hit with lots of excitement from his Discord. People had been waiting on this since fall 2020, and the excitement was for good reason. Everyone was so excited for a chance at a perfect module that they'd never have to replace, and Benny was promising just that. With the creation of the waitlist, people were even more excited than before. And just 10 days later, Benny tweeted, I can't believe it. Six months of hard work, prototypes, and a load of money. We finally have the final version of Brewsticks. Hype just kept growing for Brewsticks. And a month later, he showed off his first completed module. And it was beautiful. Throughout the rest of 2020, Benny would drop gears and bulls on his Etsy for people to purchase. The modules, bulls, and gears were all being sent out and everyone was loving them, as expected. But out of the blue, a respected member of the community known as Zine64 had some interesting complaints. Started running into an issue with my Brewsticks 64 module. Whenever I tilt my controller, my controller goes up to four to five values to the left. 
So if I accidentally hold it wrong and reset a run, my angles will be shifted to the left by four to five values. I don't know if it is the stick or the gears or the optical encoder wheels because I do not want to open it. To be fair, my gameplay does not change at all from the angle shift, but it's kind of annoying to know my angles will shift to the right randomly. As he stated, four to five values doesn't affect that much, but it can change muscle memory and cause unwanted movements. It's annoying when you spend hundreds of dollars on something that doesn't work properly. So Zion DM'd Benny. He was met with a refund offer, but Zion didn't want to take that because he had been waiting six months for the stick. So he went to Twitter, hoping Benny would provide a better solution or somebody in the community could help out. However, Benny was not happy about Zion's decision to take it to Twitter. I've been more than fair, Zion. The moment you claimed there was an issue, I offered you a full refund. That offer still stands despite you disassembling it when asked not to. Zine responded saying that the issue was fixed, and that's because he replaced the bull with a steel sticks 64 bull, something Benny had asked him not to do. Regardless, the situation was sort of resolved, at least for Zine. Benny's response was- So, I can't imagine to begin to imagine the complication of shit that goes into making these kind of things. I did- I put some of the postponed subs, postponed subs in the chat suggestions list. Postponed subs in the chat suggestion list on the dock. What? Some cool. <laughs> oh, okay, babe, can I see? Okay, I understand. Thank you, babe coin. I love you sexually. It was hit with heavy backlash. I can't imagine what goes into making those kind of bowls and all the little things that could happen like that. Like that's so complicated. It's crazy. By a member of the community named Volantis. Zion drew attention to his issue and you ignored the issue. This isn't the only time. Your customer service is non-existent. He doesn't want a refund. He wants a great stick. Your product seems to be great, but I'd never buy one from you because you don't understand that. How is offering a full refund not a reasonable option? As I've previously mentioned, if I were able to replicate the issue he's experiencing, I would offer to fix it. Forgive me if I don't give you the benefit of the doubt here. I've seen nothing but bad stuff about your brew sticks. Not the product, the release, and lack of transparency. A refund is an option, but that is the only thing you offer whenever anyone complains. Again, he doesn't want a refund, he wants a good stick. If it's a one-off issue, offering a replacement and having it shipped back to you so you can check it out and try to figure out the issue is the bare minimum. It's a premium product, you need to provide good service. If it's a potential issue that could impact more than just this stick, you'd want to have that module to test it out and see. You should be paying for shipping that one back as well as shipping out a replacement. You didn't specify shipping if you'd cover, so I'm assuming, given how long it's been and how many people are still waiting, there's no chance in hell, if I were Zion, I'd want to send it back given I would have no idea when I'd see one again. I truly hope your product is successful, I know you've put a ton of work into it, but sales isn't just about the product. Whether or not you agree with Volantis, I think we can all agree this is not the way to respond to his criticism. Quick update, Brewstick64 will no longer be sold in batches. I'm not putting myself out to do a good thing to only get shit on from people I don't even know. Appreciate everyone in here supporting the project up until this point. So what changes for the people on the waitlist with that? Just doing it person by person? No, there is no waitlist anymore. The project is closed. Just kidding. After even more backlash, Benny brought it back on the exact same day. In Benny's defense, he had fronted a lot of money for the project and he was working alone, a huge undertaking. I believe he handled it really badly, but at the end of the day, the project was back and Zine was happy. Surely that's the end of the controversy, right? Oh boy. The end of 2021 into the beginning the thing of 2022. Is too, is that there's been so many stick um, stick and bowl and whatever projects that have started and then quickly kind of just closed off. And there must be a reason, right? There must be a reason why it's probably very, very difficult. I'm not trying to defend Benny, but I could just, I'm just saying that I can imagine how difficult it is to do this like, it, because there is so much demand and people want to get in on that but they're probably just not thinking I, I just hope that the next person or the next company whoever that gets into this 
business that they make sure they have enough people and resources and shit, infrastructure or whatever, to be able to handle the demand. Or else this is just, this is going to keep happening. <clears throat> I've, I was never close with Vinny. I could probably safely say that nobody really in the community was ever close with Vinny. Vinny was always kind of just like a not really friends with much people in the community kind of person. Uh, it's it. He was always kind of like a, almost like an odd one out, which makes it kind of less weird that he's had this issue. Actually, not only Benny was not really ever that close of friends with much people in the community, but he was also always in beef. Com Benny always had beef with somebody. There was always some issue that Benny had with somebody else in the community over the years. There was always some shit that happened. So Benny kind of has like a history of stuff happening in it with, with him and other runners in the community. So I don't know why. I don't know what, but let's just keep watching and see what happened. It was uneventful for Bruce. He's a very stubborn. Yeah, very, very stubborn. People would try to help him. People would try to help him with something and he would just refuse or be like, no, just he would just refuse any sort of help a lot of the time. Um... I remember there's one case with with um was it Gothic Logic where something happened, something silly, and Benny kind of like just for no reason kind of popped off on him. Just went off on him. Something to do with Mario, and it was just like it's just weird. It's weird. Brewsticks. With people from the first waitlist still receiving their products, they had nothing but praise for Benny and his modules. Unfortunately though, in fall of 2022, things were about to change for the worst. Uh -oh. On September 4th and November 13th, Benny listed pre-order modules on his Etsy. Sounds harmless, but he was prom- $300! I did not know it was that expensive. I was thinking 100 bucks, 150. Oh, the clock has stopped. Oh my god. What? Nobody in chat is like, cheese the timer. Wow. <laughs> Somebody probably said it. I'm just an asshole. $300? I had no idea. Promising a two to three month lead time, something he had never been able to hit in the past. For reference, the first waitlist took about six to 12 months of waiting time. Because of this, people were skeptical, but not nearly enough for the modules not to sell out really quickly. People were hopeful and were not going to pass on the chance for a forever stick. Now all that was left was to play the waiting game. November and December was all excitement for the community, with everyone hyped 300 for their euros, oh my god. Sticks. With the September drops lead time approaching quickly, people would ask about wait times, but with no clear answer ever given. People were getting a little worried. If Benny did give an answer, it was always to message on Etsy, but as we'll get to later, it really didn't do much. By January of the new year, the lead time was quickly approaching, and this is what Benny had to say. When there is an update, I will post and message you on Etsy. I'm ensuring you get the product you are expecting. Please stand by. It's so easy for me to just pump out shit stuff but I'm trying to create a precision tool that people can use for years to come. I will have an update soon though. I know soon is vague and could mean a day or a month, but I don't want to give an exact date in case I can't update at that time. Just know I'm doing everything I can behind the scenes to ensure you get what you're expecting and the wait will be worth. On January 14th, somebody asked for another update, and unsurprisingly, Benny gave the same response he always did. On the 21st, he listed some bulls on Etsy, which was surprising given that he still hadn't fulfilled any of the orders that he owed people. He was already past the lead time for September orders, so why was he not prioritizing those? Then, five days later, a uh -oh. user named Lopez posted a picture in Benny's server showing that a completed module had finally arrived. The packaging looked impressive and made the product appear very premium, That's cool. giving hope that the rest of the orders would soon follow. Modules started to roll in, and reviews from Etsy were being posted, but it was now well past the promised lead time. Why was everything so delayed? And why did Benny think he could fulfill all those orders in just three months? It feels like he was setting himself up for failure. He knew there was high demand for the product, and how much of a perfectionist he is, so why didn't he limit the orders? As expected by now, Benny was slowly getting the orders out, which was unacceptable given his promises. The Etsy reviews were starting to turn negative, not because of the product itself, which nobody criticized, but because of Benny's poor customer service. The limited communication and lack of transparency Bro. were causing buyers to go to Etsy and leave one-star reviews. 
What couldn't didn't his did it could he not ask his girlfriend to help answer some reviews or something or questions? I don't know. His wife, I mean. One person even said, initial impressions are great, very snappy and smooth. Finds notches very well. Minimal dead zone and Z play. The module is packaged well. No complaints about how it's designed. Salvaged OEM components seem to be nicely selected. Why I rated this one star? Communication and transparency need to be improved. Failed to inform updates and last minute announcements for promised announcement times. Future advice? Customers are investing a couple hundred into modules and parts. Many of us are willing to wait and be patient. Suppose it is difficult to meet deadlines or quality issues. It's better to update early and often that more time is needed than to leave supporters in the dark. Now, I don't want to say everything is negative. Many orders came in throughout 2023, and they were met with very positive feedback. However, the situation still felt shady. He was listing other items for sale while providing very little communication about the ETA of the modules people had already purchased. Over the summer, he made a Twitter account, but instead of providing updates and clarity to the people who have now waited nine months, he chose to post about a world record by Green Suiji that he did on Brewsticks. Oh, and yeah, that one also arrived late. If we focus on his Twitter throughout the year, Benny mostly- I did not know Suiji uses Brewsticks. Interesting. He did, but she low-key an op too. Um... Okay, well, since we agree with that, GTM, I'm just going to go out and say it. The minute that I met Nicole, bad vibes. That's all I have to say. Bad vibes. Terrible. I don't know why, but that was like, hmm. What was that? But anyway. We posted about restock. Terrible, terrible vibes. And that was 2016. First time I met Vinny. I was with Simply, actually. And we we went to fucking we went to Applebee's with Benny and Nicole. It was me simply, and Benny and Nicole. We went to dinner in Applebee's. Cause it was the first time we met Benny, you know. And from that night, I was like, "Did you get that vibe from Nicole?" And she was like, "Yeah, she's kind of, I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know." and future projects. Updates that didn't matter to anyone who had been waiting over nine months. Then, on July 22nd, 2023, Benny made a post that felt outright disrespectful to those who had purchased their sticks in 2022. Should Brewstick 64 vend at global speedruns? There's a Beach Mouse... A Beach Mouse Twitter account. Oh my god. Pace in 2024. Beach Mouse. Beach, beach Mouse. To clarify, the Global Speedrun Association, also known as GSA, hosts a biannual. Uh oh, uh oh, we're getting under fire, boys! Convention. Look, it's Nee and Stelms deep in the front. Look, and it's Milo Yiannopoulos. Not really. I call him Milo Yiannopoulos because his name is Milo. I, I think it's funny. Artemis. Who else do we see? Steve. Tyler. Which one was this? Oh, this was. The is this Mazarus? Mazaras, is that you, babe? Where is everybody else? GTM. Let me make it bigger. We got Giga in the corner here. There's Giga. I'm the black spot. You should come to Pace one day, Big John. It's so fun. That's dirty. I know. I don't think Milo even knows who Milo Yiannopoulos is. It's just so funny. I used to think he was the funniest fucking most insane person ever. Um, Is that you, Mazarus? I can't tell. I think that's Mazarus. I think that's you, Mazarus, over here, right next to Tyler. Crab storage is there somewhere. It should be near the front. West dog. We got everybody. We got everybody here. Aluvatar the one. Look, it's Aluvatar. Number three most watched Aluvatar the one in the corner there in the red shirt. Aluvatar the 48th. I'm hiding on the left. We have Z flip somewhere. Is that Steph? I think that's Steph over there. You're on untethered pussy. Wait, Moon, you were here at pace. 
I didn't know that. No problem. They're probably dead, but I'm a bad person. Okay, very good. Back to the video. <laughs> called Pace. Vinny was essentially asking if he should go there to sell modules, sticks, and bowls, items that were still owed to people who had already paid him. Items that were still owed to people who had already paid him almost a year prior. Something <laughs> that may not be entirely clear by this point. I love Trey's face when he's giving that. I don't know why it's so funny. It's just the way he's saying. Items that were still owed to people who had already paid him. Items that were still owed to people who had already paid him almost a year prior. Something that may not be entirely clear by this point is that people People were scared to say negative things about Benny publicly due to that interaction between him and Zion in 2022. People didn't want Benny to close the project again because this time he had their money and many still had hope of receiving the module. Along with that, if you spoke out against him, it could jeopardize your chance at ever getting a module or a stick from him. And of course, as I've stated before, his sticks are very, very desirable. If I'm being oh, honest, God. this video will probably come. Lumi, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the fresh babe. I appreciate it. Cause me to be blacklisted when I really do. If if that if what Trey just said was actually the case, where you don't want to speak bad against him, or else that would probably um, decrease your chances a lot by um, of getting one of his sticks. That means that he is like uh, he was willing to like be like basically like no screw that person. I don't like them because they spoke bad about me. Hello. That obviously just shows right off the bat that that's terrible business. Like, clearly he's not fit for that. Needs to hire somebody or something to do that, the, the PR. Do want a module of his because he makes very high quality products. Luckily for me, I already have an Odini stick, but still, it's sad. Padronus was the first one to speak up about the unfulfilled orders. And as we all expected, Benny didn't respond. Since this Twitter account was, and still is, pretty small, the tweet didn't get much attention. However, the fact that Padronus's tweet almost had more likes than his... Of course. Get ratioed. Maybe fulfill the orders that people have been waiting on first. So Padronus is who we have to blame for making Benny not go to pace. Okay. <laughs> no kidding. That's probably better oh, that way. Oh god! That would have been insane. Alvi50 with the gifty. Thank you, Alvi50. Thank you, Alvi50. Look, we're three hours of crazy hour. It made it clear people were upset and felt they had to stay silent. Thankfully, there was one other person who was also standing up for people who hadn't received their modules. Joshua Waterman. Joshua was our strongest advocate, responding to all of Brewstick's 64's tweets, criticizing him about the sticks by posting pictures of the module he received. He even left a one-star review, stating, module arrived feeling great in the notches, is light, tight, and the gate gears used are in great quality as well. The project creator, Benny, delivered a quality product, however, is very rude to his customers if they say something critical of his project. Yeah, because that's, that's, that's the way Benny is. Ever since anybody has known him from the beginning, Benny has been like that. He's always been criticized for being that kind of way. Way before Bruce Sticks even started. Very catty person. Somebody says something about him or to him that he doesn't like. Wants to criticize or help him. And even if, when it comes to helping him with Mario. Be like, hey, Benny, have you tried this strat? The one you're doing is slower. Uh-oh. No, he doesn't like that. It's just not. It's, that's always been the case, it seems like. It is worth noting that the seller is also entirely incapable of maintaining. I have no idea, Big John. Is that a thing? Oh, my God. I don't even know. Oh, my God. It goes deeper. I wonder if he talks about that in the video. A single deadline, even <laughs> self-imposed deadlines. The creator has taken every step possible to eliminate transparency on this project. I cannot in good faith recommend anyone give their money to Benny. Quality, 10 out of 10. Customer service, 0 out of 10. Shipping, fine. In August, Benny... <laughs> Why did Trey that... Why did he say that so, like, tripping fine? That was very funny. I want to hear it again. Quality, 10 out of 10. Customer service, 0 out of 10. Shipping, fine. In August, <laughs> Benny continued to dodge great. questions and post about anything but the modules that he hadn't fulfilled, even leading to this wonderful interaction. I am just a bit worried about missing announcements on Twitter as things get lost in the noise. Discord is a lot easier to- Oh, this is Logic. The guy from my chat yesterday that said he was uh, mentioned. Discord is a lot easier to get notified instantly for things like this. You get notified instantly for- Hi Logic, how are you? I think I got myself like 19 minutes late, 19 months late, oh my god.
things like this. Just follow the X slash Twitter page and turn on notifications and you won't miss any. Thumbs up. This felt somewhat odd because the Discord server had always been a reliable place for updating the most involved members of the community. While Twitter only had posts about restocks, which didn't address the need for more information about where people's modules are. After this, Benny even went on to say, This Discord isn't for Brewstick64 and is my personal Discord for my Twitch community. Over time, it's become a hub for Brewstick64 things and it's lost its original purpose. This has been useful for some time when Brewstick64 was very niche, but it's gone way beyond just the people in the Discord now. Even if I do post updates here, I still need to send them to everyone anyway because I don't know who has and hasn't seen it. Outside of following the X slash Twitter page, you can always just follow the shops on Etsy and eBay and you'll be notified when I restock items. This post would be completely acceptable if he was providing any sort of transparency on any of those platforms. The Twitter account has a total of 8 tweets and not a single one of them provides any clarity for the fall orders. It's not even that buyers were that upset about the wait time. People understand that these items are really difficult to produce. Even though he had set a lead time he had no chance of meeting, more transparency about the situation could have earned him a lot of forgiveness. Unfortunately, as always, Benny showed no inclination to change his ways, leaving only hope that he might send out your order or give you a refund. Many people were receiving their orders, and as usual, they were high quality. However, with a year having passed since their purchase, a large number of remaining buyers were worried about whether they'd ever receive their modules. To make matters worse during this period of uncertainty, Benny went silent on November 15th. Of course he had to post about selling his cases just six days earlier, but after that, there was no further communication from him. On January 27th, 2024, we finally heard- Controller case, that's smart. Never seen a controller case. That is, that's nice. I would love to have like a Hori case. They probably do, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if they have Hori cases. Heard from Benny. He explained that he moved and he wasn't set up yet and promised to be in touch yeah, with everyone John. soon. While it was completely unacceptable to leave your customers in the dark for over two months, this behavior was unfortunately typical for Benny, as you've probably gathered. So, as usual, everyone continued to wait. At this point, you might be wondering why nobody's asking for refunds. The truth is, in late 2022 and early 2023, Benny was offering refunds. However, few buyers were willing to take them. It would seem silly to refund. Because they want the fucking sticks, dude. <laughs> They're good. They're good. Unfortunately, the product is very good. That's the problem. It's that it's good and they want it because it's so valuable. But it's he's but the 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 the, the process is so bad, but nobody wants to re they want their thing, so they're like it's probably worth it for me to just keep waiting then, than to wait for a refund now. Might as well keep waiting for the damn thing that I paid for. Refund after getting on an exclusive pre. I have too many things in the Automist menu, so it's forever. Pre-order yeah. list for a highly desirable item, especially given- No, no, I use Hori's CEO, so I've never used a steel stick. Oh, God! I've never used steel stick or, you know, any OEM controller or anything. So, I would love to try one, though. I would love to get one. Hani with the five gifties. Hi, Hani. That's my brother's wife, everybody. Say hi, Hani. Box lunch. Um... What was I going to say? Uh, I would like to try a uh, steel stick. Um, and just have one would be sick just to try. Who knows? I might like it a lot. Given the precedent set by steel sticks 64's similar wait time. Unfortunately, this may be the point of no return. Soon after his post about moving, he did the exact opposite of what he promised. He ignored messages on Etsy and eBay, as well as those in his Discord server, which had by then become a hub for complaints rather than his Twitch stream, which he had stated before was the intention. The server turned into a wasteland, with Benny no longer streaming or saying anything. The original purpose of the server faded, and discussions about modules became its sole purpose in his absence. I have an open question pending on Etsy, and would like to see an answer from you about my module order. Thanks. Will you please respond to Etsy messages and refund me my money? Please respond to my Discord DM or Etsy message. Thanks. Same, but eBay. Please respond to my Etsy PM. Thanks. I'd like a response to my Etsy message too, please. I thought Etsy would be the best place for updates and questions. Sag, I hope you'll get your answers as soon as possible. Sent another Etsy message. 
hoping to get a response and an update on the status of my module. Understand and appreciate there has been a move, but even a vague timeline would be appreciated given how delayed these orders already are. I'm sure it's overwhelming, but a public statement slash reaching out to each of us personally is definitely something that should be done. This became the only topic of discussion, and on March 8th, 2024, Benny locked the server, effectively getting rid of the ability crazy, to reach him publicly. Wow. A quick message from my Brewstick64 customers posting here and privately. I sincerely apologize for being silent as of late. I am of course still here and Brewsticks64 is going nowhere. I've had a lot going on in my life recently, some of which I don't feel comfortable sharing at the moment. I've also had to go into surgery myself, but I will update more in the near future. In the meantime, I likely won't be responding to messages while I recover. As soon as I am back on my feet, I will be in touch. After this, it was all silence until June 13th, when we finally figured out where Benny had oh. been. To summarize this post, Benny and his wife Nicole had moved back to the UK, as they had previously lived in Colorado. His mother fell unwell from a terminal lung condition, causing her to be hospitalized. Around that same time, Benny had an accident that damaged his hand very badly, to the point where I can't show it in this video. He mentioned the pressure the outstanding orders had on him, and it took a toll on his mental health. And finally, he took some sort of accountability for what he has done, stating, I realize the timeline for modules has been completely unacceptable, and acknowledge some customers are understandably tired and weary of waiting. Errors made by the manufacturer early caused significant delays and costs which I genuinely tried my best to avoid by ordering multiple samples prior to the production run. This means I'm now in a position where the only viable way forward is to deliver the product. I have been a part of the Mario 64 community for over a decade at this point, and understand better than most the struggles with N64 controllers. What started out as a bit of a side project turned into something much greater than I could have expected. So this is the problem. Every time somebody has launched a steel stick, it's become a huge thing and they can't keep up with it and then they close the projects. So uh, you should have known this was gonna happen. It's so much demand. If you want a good steel stick, I can get you one for the next pace whenever I see you. I'm down, even though right now I shouldn't spend money on that. But for, for summer pace next year, hopefully. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I can. I wholeheartedly pursued this idea with good intent and wanted to provide a much needed service for the community. With the Okay, Artemis, I mean that's up to you. I I think it was Grain Dragon's steel stick I was trying out. Uh I can't remember which one it is that he has. You know, there's like a newish one that has a name begins with K or something. He actually watches my stream the other day he was in my stream. And at Kumba, yeah, Kumba, and it, it felt really interesting. And there's like different grades and shit or whatever you call it. For the benefit of hindsight, I can clearly see the shortcomings of my efforts and wish I would have gone about things differently. It's entirely possible I've been too particular about the quality of modules to a fault, but I want to be proud of the work I produce and feel confident in its ability to perform long term. That said, I'm now mentally and physically at a point where I feel capable of producing solid work again and will once again begin shipping outstanding orders to customers. At no point have I ever considered disappearing for good and abandoning my customers. To put this into perspective, as of today, I've shipped over 1,000 Brewstick 64 parts and accessories, of which over 100 have been modules. I currently have around 30 to 40 remaining. What's a module? Is that just the, that's not the whole thing, right? And I fully intend to ship all remaining orders. I hope this sheds some light on what's been going on in my life and just know I'm doing everything I can to deliver your A module is the whole thing. Okay. Okay. Your module order, Benny. While I empathize with Benny and understand how challenging it must have been to navigate life with his mother's illness, as well as the pressure of hundreds of people waiting on him, he was fully aware of what he was doing. Even before he injured his hand and moved, he was already almost a year past his lead time which is unacceptable regardless of circumstances. And can you guess what he didn't do after this post? That's right, he didn't respond to people, kept his Discord locked, remained silent on Twitter, and disappeared completely. By now, you might be wondering what the DMs looked like with Benny, what kind of support he is giving, and why people are so upset with it. Well, I was too, and I reached out to some people about their experience with Benny. 
I still never received mine. I messaged him several times, no response. I asked for a refund also and never got it. He just stole my $350. Any progress on the modules? I would like to inquire for a refund, please. Hi, there isn't really any news other than the orders are still shipping slowly. I completely understand you're tired of waiting and I can process you a full refund, no problem. Let me know if that's what works best for you. Yes, I'll take a refund. Thank you. No problem. I'll issue your full refund within 7 to 10 business days. I apologize again for the disappointment. Thanks, Benny. Hi, Benny. Sorry to bother again. It has been 10 business days since you said you had processed my refund. Can you confirm that it was processed? Thank you. Just to be clear, I have not received it. Can I please have a refund, Benny? I got laid off and really need the money. Thank you. I haven't received my module yet and he is not responding anymore. Here, I purchased it in July 2020. and it was supposed to arrive in November 2023. Up until now, it never did. This one was unique because this was a bull order that was actually late. I wasn't aware that any of the bull orders were actually coming in late, which is really interesting. But apparently this person received their items, so I think it's all good. Hi, I did pay for a module in September. Yeah, but fucking however, who God alone knows how long, how late, but... $350 is a lot of money, man. Like $350, that's a full bandana Walt. I'm gonna go crazy and gift 100 subs moment right there. That's even, that's even, that's, well, no, that's 100 subs more, but like. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, in the receiving end, at least. Um, but. $350, what if, if he did that to like 50 people, 50 times 350, that's a lot of money, dude. 2022 and haven't received it yet. There were times in very late 2022 and early 2023, I believe, where he proposed the idea of refunding anyone who hasn't received one yet since the delay was unexpected at the time. I did not request a refund. I definitely expected a delay, knowing how Steel Sticks has and had such a huge waitlist and how long it takes Linus to produce his products. I definitely expected the same here, but obviously not to this extent. It was somewhat fine because his Discord was open throughout most of 2023 for updates regarding modules production and people being able to publicly ask questions. It got a bit annoying when Discord was fully locked and it required Etsy messaging to get any piece of information. My latest question was sent in Artemis coin? I know a lot, she says. Pause champ! January with no response. Definitely wish I waited a bit for Odini stick since I was quite active. In yes, Dennis Love. We had, wasn't it four? I think it was four hours. Crazy hour. It was at least three. In the Ocarina of Time Discord, and would have been cool to support other Ocarina of Time runners' business. It's four hours. I didn't I'm pretty order sure. a stick, but I ordered multiple bulls. One I received like six months late, and then he changed the housing, and the next was broken upon arrival. He said he'd replace it, and haven't heard back since. I also ordered a start button that he gave us all the option for a refund or a bull as a substitute. I opted for a bull that I never received. In the end, I stopped trying to get results and accepted the loss. Yeah, if you want to know anything about the brewstick stuff, I can tell you what I know. I pre-ordered a stick as soon as I heard they were available and got like number 20 or something I don't remember. It took me like 6 months to a year to get the stick and I've been using it with the parts he sent for a while. I think I recently switched out the gears. As far as refunds and stuff goes, as far as I've seen, people who were upset with wait times were offered refunds. Lots of people rejected refunds and wanted the product. I've not heard any first-hand accounts of people being denied refunds, but I'd be interested to hear what you find out about that. I also know Benny offered a lot of people to have stick and bull combos sent out without the OEM parts and assembly, plus a partial refund, but I have not actually seen any messages or proof of that outside of Benny's word and other people saying it was a thing. What were the circumstances of those? I've heard rumors, but I ask around and nobody knows who said what, and it's like okay. For this one in particular, I couldn't find any proof of him offering something like this. I don't know if it's true, but if anyone watching this video knows, let me know in the comments. Hello? I just wanted- Artemis? No? Okay. To check on the progress of the waitlist. Do you have a good estimate of when I would be able to get he my did. order? <laughs> okay. Very good. Just checking in to see if you received my message. Hey, I'll be going Partial back. Partial refunds are real. Okay. Through messages this week, and I'll get back to you with your current position in line. Cheers, Benny. I would like to request a full refund for my order if possible. Just messaging you again about a refund. Hello. This is my third request for a refund. That was in a span of like, what, 20 days? Almost 20 days. Wow.
I tend to go through Etsy support, which is far less reliable and more complicated. I would greatly appreciate it. If you don't respond, I will attempt to go through Etsy support, which is far less reliable. Good night, Snelms Deep. Love you. Hate him. Love you. Hate him. Love you. I hate him. See you tomorrow, babe. And more complicated. I would greatly appreciate if you could respond now. Thank you. Haven't received mine. I did get a response on Discord before Benny moved to the UK or whatever. At that time, he said I was 12th in the queue, but that he couldn't guarantee an ETA because it was unpredictable how long it would take to make modules, since he wanted to make them perfect and some took longer than others to get just right, etc. Hey man, I'd like to know my spot in the queue if that's fine. I just found out that's a thing, so I got curious for some insight. Hey man, I didn't know about your situation. Sorry about that. I hope you've been recovering well. Hope it's okay that I would ask for a refund i've got a lot of plans this summer and i would consider buying a brew stick some other time it's pretty urgent man i'd appreciate a response it's basically 380 dollars i paid by the way with shipping from the u.s i really needed the refund for financial stuff and it hurts to not even hear a single word he ordered in september 2022 and that's all of the responses oh my I god I think it's clear that Benny is dishonest and sets deadlines he knows he can't hit, all while failing to provide any transparency to those he most owes it to. It was really ironic when I found this screenshot where he says, I only owe the people who have pre-ordered and they will get their modules. One of his worst age statements, and there are many. One last thing I'd like to add is tools. One I only own the people, I meant to say owe, oh, right? I only owe the people who have pre-ordered, they'll get their modules. One of his worst age statements, and there are many. One last thing I'd like to add is that by trusting Benny's word, if he has 30 to 40 orders left to fulfill, he still has almost $14,000 worth of modules that he needs to send out. And that's if we assume he's being truthful. Also, why couldn't he give an exact number? He is the one, like he's the one selling them. Why, why is it an estimate? My intention with this video is not to destroy Benny or Brewstick64 as I think they make a very, very, very high quality product. Rather, my intention is to reveal the truth that many have been scared to talk about, either out of fear of losing their money or jeopardizing their chance at getting a module. My hope is that everyone who is owed something will be fairly compensated by Benny and that we never see a situation like this ever again. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like. What do you guys think? It, do you guys think it's too late? Do you guys think it's too late? So should I jump in now? Yeah, go for it, Artemis. We're gonna get the deets. It's happening live. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, Sex God. Uh, it's a good video, right? Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. Okay. So I have I have information and I want to clarify a couple of the things that Trey said, especially near the end. Okay. Um, so uh I don't know, there's a lot of things. Basically, even though Benny has said constantly that he will get these out constantly. Mm. He has the entire time said that he would get them out. The few times he does communicate, he does always say that he will get them out. Uh, that's been happening for over three years now. Yeah. We're at. I bought mine in June of 2021. What? I didn't even know they were out that early. I didn't. Yep. And you don't have it yet. Now, I, I do. I, I will say I, I got mine. Mine was fine. You know, it, and I was wrong. I said 19 months in chat. It was actually 18 months. How uh, dare you? But still. The point is, it took a very long time, mm -hmm. uh, and you know, orders taking that long kind of sucks. Yeah. And the other thing, there, there's a lot of parts to it. A lot of people had ordered them with expecting to get them, and that never happened for a lot of people. But it was very frustrating as he kept making things. Was that like he would promise these modules, right? And uh, he'd be like, yep, they're coming out soon. And then they never came. And then he was like, oh, here's a bowl drop. Like, check out these bowls. Yeah. And the people bought the bowls. And then most of those apparently got sent out, but not all of them, I guess. And then he ca came up with a new project. He's like, hey, here's this N64 controller uh, case. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, that's cool too. But uh, where's my fucking stick, dude? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
no, he always said that it was not going to take a year. He kept saying that it was going to be shorter timelines. Uh, and he was just very, the really his main issue is he was never transparent a single time. Because I'm sure the reason he sold bulls by themselves and the controller cases was that he needed more money to keep feeding into the manufacturing because he outsourced everything. He didn't, he, I believe him mostly when he says he didn't really make that much money off of all of this because he's mentioned that he's gone back and forth between multiple manufacturers and gotten many different waves of sticks and everything. So I assume he probably just needed more money to, you know, keep developing. And that's why he did the bowls and the cases themselves. But he's so particular and needed these modules to be perfect in his mind. Yeah. And that cost way too much. Which is partially why um, that partial refund that Trey mentioned he wasn't sure on. Uh, Benny was saying that, hey, I'll give you a partial refund if you just want the stick and bowl. Because then he doesn't have to go through all of the calibration and everything. It saves him a lot of effort. I see. So, basically, he just... Regardless if he made money or not, he took a lot of people's money and is effectively scamming them, regardless if it was intentional or not, and has made it so much worse because of his lack of communication. If he said that he lost it all in manufacturing, people would still be pissed. But at least we know where the money went. I see. So he didn't even say that, even though people assume that that's where it goes. I mean, I assume it all went to manufacturing. Yeah. I mean, there's a there's a half joke that people keep saying where it's like when he moved to the UK. I know for serious reasons too, but like people keep saying that he went to the UK to like avoid uh, legal uh, justice here in the US. Mm. it's mostly a joke i don't think anyone's actually pushing after him like that right now as far as i'm aware but it, it again it's just like communication we didn't know he was yeah. moving to the uk until he was just like yeah i'm in the uk now and it's like okay so there was like a huge delay in orders from just the moving or for what i don't know it is just Annoying. I don't know about people saying that money went to the money's gone because it went to like helping his mom or something. That's possible. I think that part gets into. Uh, I don't know how healthcare is in is, the UK, but. Yeah. I think at that point it becomes more of what he does with his personal money. Like, sure, if he made like a profit from the modules, ignoring the extra money that he probably ended up having. Yeah. Uh, Wherever it ended up going, it doesn't necessarily matter if it went to like his mom, mom's like healthcare or whatever, or like moving costs. Like I don't know, and it kind of doesn't matter. Oh. <laughs> yeah, true. Wow, wow, bye. So the thing, well, so Judgy Benny is originally in case for those who don't know. In case Benny is British, he's originally from the UK. So that's where he lived his whole life. Then he moved to Colorado for his wife because his wife is American, right? Yeah. His wife is American. Uh, yeah. Moved yeah. to Colorado with her. And then they supposedly moved back to the UK. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's... It, I, I don't know. I don't remember if it was covered in the video. I wasn't here the entire time watching it uh, this time. And I don't remember watching it the first time super well. But, uh... Like a lot of the reason people didn't bring it up is that Benny has cultivated this. His his mindset is just so negative. He is so pessimistic and in his really? own head and arrogant. All of these, I don't know how to describe it properly. Where like if you questioned a single thing he did or like made a joke that was even slightly as hit at his expense, mm -hmm. he would hate it and yeah, he would like time you out in his chat. But Benny's been that since day one. Yes, and I'm saying that's especially bad when it comes to the sticks. Yeah, of course. No, that's even the, though that business, happened. That's the worst. Yeah, because like in the chat, like that—that's whatever. You, it's your own stream. Do how run it how you want. But if you're running a business and like someone, everyone is afraid of criticizing your sticks because they're afraid to get blacklisted. <laughs> yeah, that's that's crazy. Yeah. 
So, which is a big reason why no one wanted to come out and say it, anything. I, I actually publicly. find it insane that he didn't think of finding somebody for PR or something to help him. I, I thought that yeah. was like obvious. Well, I think the, <laughs> well, I think the thing is that that's what uh, Nicole did. She quit yeah, her job Nicole and then was... started working with Vinny. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Nicole's worse, dude. <laughs> I don't know what to say. She's also the same way. Uh huh. I'm not saying it's better. I'm just saying that's what happened. She quit, yeah. or supposedly she quit her job to go work for exactly, this yeah. Bruce Sick company. And yeah. yeah, so very great. Yeah. All right. Very good. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. Some for worst stick scam out there, but it's pretty fucking bad. Did you say it's not the worst? No, it's not. Oh my god. You know, 14k? That's Liam that's child's play. Liam Did he actually? Is that true? Liam? Uh, I don't know. I think he's mentioned it before because his prestige was garbage. Mm. I don't know. He keeps saying his prestige is garbage and then keeps using it. So, like, he is not to be trusted. Yeah. But, yeah, I think for worst like one is retech. He, yeah. And they sold, like, 50-some K? 54 K? Uh -huh. Wow. And I, like, roughly did the math. Restick. That's a classic. Oh, yeah, I didn't come like it. Okay, wow. Holy shit. <sighs> Stick drama goes forever. There's so many projects, so many failed projects, and unintentional and probably intentional scams. It's such a weird, it's such a very weird, insanely niche, but at the same time, insanely high demand thing. Mm -hmm. Very weird. Yeah, it's really annoying that we all just, we all need this part. And yeah. so we just blindly trust anyone who says it, they can make it. Yeah. Come get your big stick from me, Big John. Big John's big stick's coming at you la. It was a worse scandal. Retech uh, stole significantly more money. <laughs> oh my god. And he did get to, so... <laughs> And he yeah, did get anyway, sued? Oh my god. Yeah, re the, the guy behind Retech got uh, sued. Well, also had a building he owned for a while that he didn't pay rent for. Nice. Oh, that building that he didn't pay rent for? I I used to live about 20 minutes away, and I drove by it every day for work. Or, yeah. <laughs> it was funny. Box lunch. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Tend to watch a video okay. on how to install a. What do I have to do? I have to. Uh, how to import GameCube saves into Dolphin. That's gonna be fun. Oh, that's really easy. Oh, First. Thing oh, it's a forty second long. Thank God. Yeah. Thing you have to do is get the game file. So just Google online what you want. I like this guy's voice. Get the game file. I'm looking for a fully unlocked that, melee file. I think. Usually game FAQs is your best bet. So look underneath USB memory adapter save and then download the first one that you like. Then go to Dolphin. Oh, chat, it's fine. Let him try. And a we'll memory card manager. First, you have to select your I'm memory back card. Up. Find out. What? Don't worry about it. <laughs> what is it, man? Babe, going? Babe, we have to do Marvel's. We have to figure out Marbles of Doom. Yeah, we'll figure it out. That'll be fun. That'll be cool. Alright, so you go to the but where you tools. Then go to Dolphin, Tools, and a Mem Card Mem Manager. Mem Card Manager. First, you have to select Mem your memory card. card. Find out where you've installed the Dolphin emulator. Then open up the GC folder GC and folder. open the memory card. Now, click on Import GCI and select the save file that you just downloaded. Okay, I'm gonna do that right now. Can I open Dolphin? 
And we're gonna edit details. Oh, I don't have the same thing. Memory card and my settings are different, but memory card manager. I already have this. Memory card. Why are my settings different? Do I have a different version of Dolphin? No. This is an old video. DCI. Inst uh, yes. Select the ago. save file that you just downloaded. Now click on Imp uh, import. Import GC. Import GCI. I don't see that. I see switch to B. Export as GC. I only see, I see export. Oh, import. Here we go. Import. GCI. And select the save file that you just. Select the save file that you just had sex with. Okay, I see it. Just downloaded. Now your save file is copied onto your virtual memory card, and you're ready to play. Also, yeah, Pie Man, I hate the fandom wikis. Yeah. They are miserable. It was that simple, chat. Looks like we did it. Now we can ask that good man. When are you making mozzarella stick? <clears throat> can you imagine me, cheese, making fucking steel sticks? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Cory sticks. That's the thing, by the way. GTM? You still... Oh, yeah. Still, we have to That's talk cool. About it. Yeah, GTM has one. I'm mad at him. I know. It's really cool. I've seen it and uh, touched it. I want to try it. Tucked on it and... I tried it too. Like, was it last, yeah, it's awesome. fall, last fall pace? The person, the guy who made the. Is, is it steel or is it just like a. The hoary one? Uh. I, I think it's just like a better potentiometer type thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's. I tried it. It's felt very strong, a bit heavier, different. But yeah, it effect effectively kind of works as a steel stick where the idea is the hoary stick would never wear out and it would be perfect forever. Is this a fa fancy magnet thingy? Uh, yeah, hollow all effect. All effect. I'm not sure what that means, but... but... Well, he also clarifies that hollow effect basically means that it uses fancy magnet things. Yeah, but like, what, what does that mean in terms of gameplay and like the stick it's... it's uh... uh the way they do it is um, you can recalibrate the stick so you can choose whatever range you want it to be in. So you could have it be at the proper Hori range or you could use it at OAM right, range. Right, 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 right. Or yeah. if it ever like expands or drifts or anything, yeah. then you'd be able to just recalibrate and it'd be fine. Yeah, you can recalibrate the damn stick uh, however you want. That's insane. That's That's amazing. So you could always fix it. If something goes wrong, you could fix it, recalibrate it. That's awesome. I need one of those at some point. Yeah. Yeah, they're still work in progress. They're getting pretty close to something, I'm pretty sure. Like earlier. Okay, we're going. Thank you for giving us insights. That was amazing. Of course. Enjoy the... You're, I assume you're doing Luigi's Mansion still? So. Yeah. Yeah, well, have fun with that. I'll be in chat. Okay, babe, going. Bye-bye. Hey, then.